are we going to get Doom Eternal as a virtual reality version? Oh my goodness, this would be so amazing. And you know what? There are some hints and clues which are pointing into this direction. And in this video, we're going to have a look at these hints. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ank and this channel here is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you independent XR reviews and you're getting the latest news just like this one here. So if you are into virtual reality and you don't want to miss any of my news, then absolutely, well, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of these live streams. Oh my goodness, Doom Eternal in virtual reality, that would be so cool. Of course, we already have Doom VFR, which came out in 2017, but well, it has already been a couple of years and I want more and I'm pretty sure that you want more too. So let's have a look at the clues and the hints which are actually pointing to that Doom Eternal in VR in this year. So let me share my screen with you. So the Australian government rating agency for video games, they have published a new classification. And this new classification is entitled Project 2022A. So if you're looking at the name, this might be coming out in this year or at least it would be announced in this year. But let's have a look at the classification. So why this classification? Well, this classification has for has a strong impact, no, it has a high impact in the violence category. All right, very high impact in the violence category. So 18 plus restricted. You have to be 18 plus in order to play this game when it comes out. Language is just mild impact and there's, well, no drug use, nudity and sex. Well, they could add that. <laughs> But that's okay. So high impact in violence. But now it gets more interesting. So classification date, that was the 22nd January, so a couple of days ago. Year of production this year, classification, okay, 18 plus, we know that now. And well, we have a high impact violence and well, we do have online interactivity. That's the consumer advice. And category and category detail is computer games. All right, we have a computer game for... 18 plus, but more importantly now, the media type. The media type is virtual reality. Virtual reality. So we have a VR game that is rated 18 plus for violence, but now it gets more interesting. So the author of this is, ta da da da, it's software. It's software. So it's software, of course. We all know what they are working on, what they've done before. Of course, it's Doom, it's Wolfenstein, <laughs> and it's Quake, right? This is what I what its software is doing. Quake, Wolfenstein, and Doom. These are their big franchises. So, of course, the question now is, well, what would this be? Would this be another Wolfenstein or would this be another Quake or would this be Doom? Well, first of all, for Wolfenstein, they already did a game with this, right? The, the Cyberpilot one and, and it got like a, um, a 50, uh, R15 classification. But when its software did Doom VFR in 2017, they get exactly the same rating, 18 plus for violence. So this is a fact that could be pointing at Doom Eternal. Because Quake, well, Quake, there hasn't been a game that would be easy to port and it would be way easier for them to do a port of Doom Eternal, which is already programmed, than make another Quake. Or actually, of course, they could also make a, a completely new game, a completely new IP, a completely new franchise of something. But why would they do that, right? It's way more complicated to make a whole new game, 
right, a whole new franchise? And why would they choose that niche, that VR niche, in order to introduce some completely new IP and franchise? So that's why I would say that actually this here is indeed pointing towards Doom Eternal as a virtual reality game. And well, so author, it's software, publisher, Bethesda, okay, it absolutely points to that. And yeah, country of origin, USA, language, English, applicant, Zenimax, the, the parent company of it's software. So this absolutely, absolutely points towards Doom, virtu Doom Eternal VR. So let's have a little quick look into into the trailer and especially into into the action parts here. Let me make that bigger. So, of course, the game in 2D, it looks absolutely amazing, totally stunning. Hello, Arthur, good to see you here. And it would be great to see that in VR. Check this out. So, obviously, that first-person perspective would be fantastic for a VR port. However, what I also want to ask you guys now, you guys who are watching this right now, like, like Arthur, <laughs> and um, I would like to ask you guys, what do you think about Doom Eternal in VR? Do you think this is feasible? Because this game, you do have quite lots of jumping going on, right? And like this crazy action where people might get a bit motion sick, <laughs> right? Doom Eternal is this kind of game which would make you jump and run and have like lots of crazy motion. So so what, what do you think? What do you think? Might that be too tricky? That's what Adam says now. So I would really be interested in your opinion about that. Would that work in VR actually? Or would it probably be more like a, a Doom that came out in 2016 that they simply port this to a virtual reality. But Doom VFR, it was already very close to that Doom that came out in 2016, right? So also I believe that Doom Eternal, this game has such good ratings and it's such a good game that I believe it would make more sense to port that to virtual reality. But yeah, if it's done well, that's what Adam says right now. Exactly. That might be the case. So let's have a look here at the Metacritic of Doom Eternal. And yeah, it got 88%. So it's a very, very highly rated game. And it would, in my opinion, it would make lots of sense to, to port that to virtual reality. So they just have to, of course, make a good port and probably have lots of options so that people will not feel motion sick, right? That's one thing that they have to absolutely make sure of because, again, Doom Eternal is a lot about these kind of crazy movements like jumping and stuff. So that would be really interesting to see how they make it happen. I would be absolutely thrilled if Doom Eternal would come out. And you know what? Actually now, like reporting this news, I so feel like playing Doom Virtual Friggin' Reality again because it was an amazing game. I played it on the PC, but I also played it on the PSVR with that aim controller, and it was just so good. I loved it. I absolutely loved it, and I would love to play it again. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, probably I should do that. I should give Hitman 3 a little break and simply go back to Doom VFR. So, anyways, I believe that Doom Eternal is going to come out as a VR version, hopefully in this year, hopefully it would get announced quite soon and hopefully then we're going to see it in the end of the year or something. That would be amazing. Of course, they would have to think about a, a good idea how to bring those cool um, cutscenes into virtual reality, right? Yeah, lots of different things to consider, but I believe this could indeed happen. Yeah, that's it 
for this really short news live stream. I really hope that you still enjoy these short and quick live streams that bring you some interesting information about virtual reality. Um, I really enjoy these live streams. I must say I love it to simply jump on and let you know the latest news and um, hope you do so do too. If you like this stuff that I bring you here, then make some noise now for the algorithm. Give this here a thumbs up now and also leave a comment that really helps this channel and it helps more people to find this content that I'm like pumping out here on a daily basis now. So do leave a comment. Do you believe that Doom Eternal is going to come out for VR? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you love this channel and if you want to support independent content like this one here, and if you want more content, behind the scenes stuff, really good stuff, then become a member of the MRTV Elite at MRTVElite.com. That is my Patreon channel. And for just $1, you're supporting this very, very good content. And well, you get a behind the scenes look and you get the latest news first. Like for example, I'm reviewing all kinds of VR headsets, like this one here now. This is something that very few people have. It's the XR Space Manova, a new standalone headset. And, well, members of the MRTV Elite will get my first impressions very soon, probably tonight. <laughs> yeah, so if you love what I'm doing, become a member of the MRTV Elite at MRTVElite.com. My big goal is to get 3,000 Patreons, and I'm going to grind my way to it. We are now at around 520, so each and every one. I'd be so happy to see you there, mrtvelite.com. That's it. That's it for this short news stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss live streams just like this one here. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. mrtvelite.com. It's very, very good, just like this channel.